Donette Ngonefi is the latest victim of xenophobic attacks. The 19-year-old sword river high pupil was last week apparently assaulted by her classmates. The attack is alleged to have happened in the classroom with the teacher present. They were, like, they were all angry at me, swearing and stuff, So which I didn't mind. I just sat on my desk, staring at them the way they were talking and stuff. They were talking sort of the language that I didn't even hear, complaining that to the teacher I didn't hear them. And when they were like talking, and I stand up and I tell the girl, the girl that was behind me, why are you talking? Which is, if you want to be a class monitor, you must go to the office and tell them you want to be a class monitor. You don't need to come to me because I'm not the one who give myself a badge. They give me the badge by the office, there by the principal, which you can go fetch it. She was like telling stuff. As soon as I just sit down and she pushed my hair and I turned because she was sitting on top of the table behind me. And which when I turn around and I say don't push my hair. As soon as I just turn and she smart comes straight to my hair, which is I did I didn't even know where she was on top of the table. When she jumped, she was holding my hair and jumped with my hair. I, so I was looking for a way to stand up because I was in the sitting position. So when I stand up Immediately my head on the board, like I couldn't defend myself anymore. I find myself on the floor and as soon as I just fall down, all of them was on top of me, kicking me and like like standing up on me so I couldn't do anything about myself. The only thing I was hiding, I was hiding my face because I couldn't do anything again. The teacher was there, but the teacher was like trying to separate the fight, but she couldn't get because the children was much. Those things has affected us has from that day until today we don't attend school we don't go to school because we are actually afraid because some of our friends are coming to tell us that those kids as we went to open the case and do all those things that they are actually looking for us they are nearby the school those kids they are like still waiting for us to attack us so we are like afraid the exams start like on tuesday which was on day 11 until today, we didn't yet attend, we didn't yet go to school. Since those things have started, finding my sister on the floor, like I can explain what happened that day. Actually, she was in a class. I was also by my class. And then I just saw two kids, they come like on my class, they were knocking on the gates, like they were telling my teacher, we are looking for donate sister, donate sister. I'm like, I'm the one, yeah. They are like, oh, come, come, come and see what happened to your sister. As I was walking in that class, I find my sister collapse. She was on the floor. I was like, what's going on? Just now I was speaking with her, I was like, what's going on? Then I was looking at my sister, she was laying on the floor. Then the teachers, they are like, oh, Sabita, just relax, nothing's gonna happen to your sister. Mrs. Khiev, she was telling me, Tabita, be calm. Nothing's gonna happen to your sister. We're gonna solve everything. I'm like, Miss, what is going on? The principal just came. He, she walked in the office. She saw my sister was laying on the floor. She saw all those things as it was happening. Actually, she didn't do anything about it. She just said, oh, I have things to run after. She went back to the office. She walked back. I was there in the school. After I saw everything happen, I brought them to the police station of uh, Woodstock. We opened the case. There was a, a course of police uh, uh, got the, the case number. Got now a lawyer. The lawyer is going to ask also uh, the, the hearing because I was also there by the school. They said to me they want to gonna be like a disciplinary hearing. So it's like just reconciliation. And I was surprised how we can get reconciliation without justice, with just without true. So we need a, a normal hearing. So we are foreigner. We couldn't stand for that. We asked a, a lawyer. So we got a lawyer from the community. Uh, he we have contacted Salt River High and the Department of Education, but we did not get any response yet. I am Bosiswama Onono for Our City News, Peru.